Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I will develop piping and instrumentation diagram of a gas vessel. And this is P&ID of a gas vessel developed in Microsoft Visio. But in this video, I am going to use AutoCAD P&ID. Prior to starting AutoCAD P&ID, let's understand the problem. So there are different requirements which I have to follow in different steps. To explain you briefly, like for example, the first instrument I have to add is manually controlled inlet valve. Similarly, after inlet valve, I will add pressure transmitter and pressure indicator to indicate gas pressure of inlet pipeline. So this is brief explanation to give you an idea. Let's start AutoCAD P and ID. I have already created a project in AutoCAD. So let's begin our diagram. First insert a gas vessel by selecting equipment tab from tool palette and pick desired vessel. After inserting vessel, a window appears. This window is to assign a tag to the vessel. We can assign any tag to it according to our requirement. And I assigned it tank 1. Place the tag to complete this step. After this next step is to insert instruments. So first instrument is manually controlled valve on inlet pipeline. From valves, select control valve and convert it into gate valve with manual actuator. Then right click on valve to open tag assign window and tag it hand valve 1 or HV1. After that add primary pipeline from lines tab for gas inlet into the tank. Now next instrument on the list are pressure transmitter and pressure indicator to monitor the gas pressure of inlet pipeline. For that go into instrument tab and select field discrete instrument or in other words field mounted instrument. As it is pressure transmitter so assign it PT2 tag. So for indication we have to add pressure indicator from instrument tab which is primary accessible discrete instrument or in other words panel mounted instrument and assign it tag of PI2 as pressure indicator and pressure transmitter are both in the same loop so that's why loop number is same. Then insert primary pipeline to attach pressure transmitter and pressure transmitter is attached with primary pipeline through a flanged nozzle. So from fittings tab select desired nozzle and attach pressure transmitter to main pipe with instrument supply line from lines tab. After that draw electrical line to attach pressure indicator with pressure transmitter. So after adding pressure monitoring instruments, next requirement is to add instruments to monitor the flow of gas with high and low flow rate alarm. So first from instruments add orifice which is flow element and tag it FE3 and then add field discrete instrument for flow transmitter and tag it FT3. Next instrument to insert is flow indicator and tag it FI3 and then also insert instruments for alarms to show that in this flow monitoring we have to monitor high and low flow rate alarms. Steps to insert alarm instrument are same as flow indicator. Just for flow alarm high tag FAH3 and for flow alarm low tag FAL3. And then use electrical line to join flow transmitter with flow indicator. Next instrument is pressure safety valve to relieve and vent excess pressure to flare system. Simply select relief valve from instruments and assign tag PSV4. And we can also add text to elaborate it. Now on the list, next instrument is hand valve on outlet pipeline. This is similar to hand valve we have added earlier on inlet pipeline. Just we have to assign different tag which is HV5. Okay, now it's time to draw control loop for controlling pressure of tank. The first component is pressure transmitter for miring gas vessel pressure and sending the signal to pressure indicator and controller. 
to indicate the measured pressure and at the same time pressure indicator controller will send a pneumatic signal depending on its set point to actuate the pressure control well so simply so simply insert field discrete instrument and assign tag pt6 and after that add pressure indicator controller and assign tag pick 6 and then control valve this time is diaphragm valve with pressure control valve or pc6 tag and join hand valve with control valve through a pipeline and then pneumatic line is drawn from pick to control valve a check valve on the outlet header is also provided in vessel instrumentation cv7 is the check valve provided to prevent backflow into the gas vessel A high pressure alarm is also added with pressure indicator controller. Lastly, pressure transmitter and pressure indicator are provided to measure and indicate gas outlet pressure. On the P&ID PT8 and PI8 are performing this function. Based on the requirements, I have developed a P and ID for the gas vessel. So this is how we can draw P and ID in AutoCAD.